North Dakota generates tax revenue in three main ways, sales tax, income tax, and property tax. One lawmaker wants North Dakotans to vote to abolish property tax and make up the revenue gap from mostly the oil tax and legacy fund. But other lawmakers say this proposal would be unsustainable and the timing is off. State Representative Rick Becker is sponsoring the measure to eliminate property tax in North Dakota. When we do this, North Dakota becomes the only state in the nation to have no property tax. Becker says it will create economic growth in the state. That is going to be the biggest driver for new businesses to come to the state. It's going to cause the state to actually become economically diversified, which is one of our goals, has been for decades, and it's going to address the workforce shortage. Which he says will offset revenue lost from eliminating the property tax. It creates an economic boom and from that we get increases in the amount of income tax because there's more people and sales tax because there's more economic activity. But North Dakota Tax Commissioner Ryan Rauschenberger says abolishing the property tax might not be as doable as Becker makes it sound. Well, I, I, I think the timing is, uh, is interesting. Coronavirus has downturned the economy and global tensions have dropped the price of oil by half since the beginning of this year. As we do have um, a stock market um, that is on the decline and we do have extremely low oil prices and the proponents are saying that this is supposed to uh, be funded primarily by um, um, stock market gains from legacy fund earnings and oil. But Becker says this challenging time reinforces the theory behind his plan. This is a wake-up call for us. This is not the, the new norm, but this should alert everybody kind of a holy crap moment. What will we do if oil actually stayed down? And the answer is, if we do nothing, we're in huge trouble. We have to do something. Senator Aaron Oban doesn't disagree that North Dakota has done a good job at generating a nearly $7 billion revenue base. But she says Becker's proposal is not sustainable. Not in the long run. I mean, maybe, maybe for a year, maybe for two years, maybe for 10 years. But I am not willing to, to budget an entire state that way. Oban points out that locally elected officials are responsible for determining how their locally collected property tax is budgeted towards things like law enforcement, roads, parks, and schools. We have been extremely lucky in North Dakota that we have had um, oil, egg, uh, other energy sources that are helping to pay our state's bills um, to a much higher percentage than, than what it actually appears. My concern is in the long run, we can't, we can't control those even in the short term. So how are we going to, to tell um, local communities that you should completely eliminate your property tax revenues and, and we'll make up for it at the state? It's just not going to happen. In contrast, Becker says North Dakota's large revenue base is being mismanaged and abolishing the property tax will not strip local governments of the ability to determine their budget. So we look back at the last 10 years and we say, wow, we've had this huge amount of revenue and what we've done with it is spent it all we've grown government what we could be doing with it is decreasing the tax burden for all of the residents the voters the citizens of north dakota you're looking at these counties for instance have a big pot of money that all the taxpayers pay into the property tax owners from that point they take that pot of money and they form a budget they spend it how they want the only thing that changes is now the state is using those excess revenues to fill the pot of money. Becker and supporters will need to get nearly 27,000 signatures by July 6 to have the plan appear on the general election ballot. So really I think it just comes down to, to philosophical differences about what taxes are fair and not fair. And you know, some would say no tax is fair. There's no such thing as a truly fair tax because somebody is gonna have um, a disproportionate liability than somebody else. No matter. And North Dakota voters turned down a similar constitution measure in 2012 with nearly 77% of the vote.